<laughs> Welcome to Guys Talk Knives, episode number 159. Happy Thanksgiving. It is noon on Thanksgiving Day, Eastern. Some of you probably are not watching this and just stuffing your faces with turkey. Absolutely. This, this very moment. <laughs> the rest of y'all are palpitating, waiting for everything to, you know, you know, just saliva dripping out of your mouth as you smell the stuff coming from the kitchen. It is Thanksgiving Day. This is the Thanksgiving Giving Day episode. And what makes it special? We're just going to talk about Thanksgiving right here at the beginning, TC. <laughs> Absolutely. So I need to know straight mm -hmm. away, white meat or dark meat? I got to go white meat. I <laughs> Heard that about you. I like my meat like I like my... Uh, oh, no. Right. Here we go. No, no, no. <clears throat> We're just going to go dive just right just off. Right on into it. Just dive right off. He know? went for the gravy bowl, and he just ended up in the peas. It was straight away. No. So, no, wait, wait. No, a more important question than that, because I know your preference. Uh-huh. Cranberry sauce, canned or whole berries? Or, or like fancy berries. I'm going to ah, be honest. I love you, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac said there's another option besides. <laughs> I don't. I, honestly, I don't really care. It's not my favorite. So. It, I, See, for me, it's whole bean or I nothing. Yeah. See, I, I want the can because that's how you know he where likes, to cut it. He likes the can. I think it's gross. He gives you the graduation. <laughs> does, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you can just pick the thing up on your hand and just slide it down like it's an oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another roll, Jimmy. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Stuffing or dressing? Stuffing. Stuffing. Absolutely. Absolutely stuffing. I like dressing that her mom makes. It's fantastic. But there is no greater Thanksgiving Day thing than what my grandmother used to do. And she used to make everybody's favorite pie. So there were 10 to 12 pies wow. on Thanksgiving Day. I mean, oh from gosh. lemon meringue all the way down to butterscotch to pecan or pecan, as you'd like to say. Pecan, yeah. Pecan pie. A pecan pie. So, yeah, it's not, Thanksgiving has never been the same since my grandmother I'm, passed. I'm it getting just, fatter it's just thinking about it. I'm going to go back to Stampede and my, my costumes aren't going to fit. I'm going to have to take them back to wardrobe and get them let out yet again. I'm sorry, Vicky. Um, but you know what's crazy is we haven't even gone through Thanksgiving yet and this pandemic. And because we've been working at home, it allows me to wear comfy pants all the time. When you go to put your jeans back on, let me just say, I feel your pain. It's like, wait a minute. This is not right. Where's the elastic? We are a knife show. Eventually, we're going to get to it. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. We got five items to get through today on this Thanksgiving day. We hope you're having a blessed day and having a great day with your friends and your family. You're staying safe, doing all that fun stuff. But let's look at some knives because that's, you know, what Absolutely. we're here to do. Jumping straight away, iBrand. Guys, if you don't know this brand, this is a traditional German brand called iBrand. The knife in my hand is actually made in Germany. The kicker on it, it's $89.99. It's got carbon steel blades. I'm going to show it to you. We'll talk about it on the other side. So you're talking about a copperhead pattern here, right here. To me, a copperhead looks like uh, something that is half a canoe, and this one has almost a finger groove in it. You usually don't see a lot of that in a copperhead, but that has a nice little swell on the top side of it. But this is a copperhead. You can see the almost canoe end here, and then the rounded almost cigar end at the other end. These are carbon steel blades. Both of them have the eye brand etch on them. It has match strike poles. Uh, the handles are black composition. It is brass pins and, I'm sorry, nickel silver pins, nickel silver shield, brass liners on this thing. You can see on both sides, this is a pretty darn clean knife right there. And then the nickel silver bolsters on it. Uh, in a copperhead, you've got a clip point and a drop point. Uh, both of them are 3.25 inches long, and each of them are a 16th of an inch. Uh, wide or thick on those. It's 3.75 inches closed and 3.3 ounces. And again, this knife is made in Germany. It is an, a traditional eye brand knife. It's a copperhead and it comes in at $89.99. You know some things about eye brand. Am I wrong? It's a really, really old brand. Still made in Schollingen, Germany. I can't say that word. Um, I like to say Solingen. Yeah. <laughs> Solingen. This is my knife. <laughs> They used nine, to make a nine, bunch nine. of, I think uh, they used to actually make hen and roosters there too. They've made a right. bunch of, in that same factory over the years. I found out, because I'm not bright, 
You know why that bolster is raised? Why? Copperhead? It sinks the joint so that the back spring, the, the back square, yes. doesn't catch in your pocket. Right. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's the same reason on a, a canoe. You try yeah. to you try to get that that crest to go up higher than this uh, the square joint that's on the back where the slip joint actually meets the blade itself, and you cover it. And what you notice sometimes there is gapping here, just a little bit between. There's a space in between this portion and the next portion. But if this crest beats that, it still slides in and out of your pocket with no problem whatsoever. Yeah, I didn't know. That's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's, what's funny is uh, when you talk about traditional pocket knives, the patterns that exist and that you see all the time right now are popular for a reason. Right. Uh, they exist because they've been around for a couple hundred years or, or whatever because they worked. Yeah. The ones that didn't work, <laughs> just no mas. <laughs> so, so when you see things like a Congress, when you see things like a muskrat, when you see things like a stockman for sure, you know they worked. A canoe yeah. works because of the shapes that they came down to. What I would love to be able to see is, uh, and it's very hard to do because there are no, at the time you're making knives, you're talking about making etches of knives at yeah. that point uh, to put in catalogs. But I would love to see the evolution of something like a canoe. Where did it start? How did it become more of what it is? And all of that stuff. Because that, that history is awesome. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I know a person who wouldn't mind doing such research. <laughs> <laughs> Her initials are Melina. <laughs> Guys, again, that is the Ibrand Copperhead. We have another version of this on the site. I think there's a link out there that you can get to it. It's $89.99 at smkw.com. I'm just going to gesture with knives the whole rest of the show. <laughs> this is my knife! <laughs> and, and, and in the chat right now, they're discussing that they were expecting that to go flying. That's fine, because I'm going to be eating turkey while they're live chatting. It's not going to matter. It's, it's my good hand. How do you carve your stuff. turkey? Well, I throw a knife at it. That's right. Hope for the best. Guys, if you have not seen our Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving Day greeting that went across social media, I'm just telling you, go look at it. It's interesting. <laughs> um, I decided just to have a little fun with it this year, so go have a look at that. Anthony Morfione, go have a look at that as well. So go check that out. That's all I'm going to say about it from here. If you haven't seen it today, go check it out. Next knife up on the list. Uh, and this knife looks a little deeper red than I thought it was going to be. This is a new series from Case called the uh, Case Old Red Bone Series. It's a smooth bone series from Case, and it's got a very deep, deep red to it. And then the blades on this entire series have a PVD coating over True Sharp Surgical Steel. In fact, let's take a look at it on two, and I'll tell you about this knife knife and the series itself. So you're, you're talking about a teardrop pattern that's in my hand. It's one of my favorite patterns. I think this, um, um, it's just, to me, it's better than a peanut. It has a more grippy handle to it. All of the knives in this case, old Redbone series, though, they feature the True Sharp Surgical Steel blades, and then they have a deep PVD coating. It almost looks like, doesn't that almost look like gunmetal where you blew something? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, it has that feel yeah. to it. It's darkened on the blade. Um, and then if you don't know what a PVD coating is, that is a uh, vapor uh, barrier. So basically, you're putting a coating on the outside of this that creates a vapor barrier, so nothing is going to get to that stainless steel blade on the inside. The only thing you're going to have to really take care of is that edge and make sure it's fine. The handles are genuine bone. It is what they call old red smooth bone. I'm going to show you both sides of this knife because this side is a little bit brighter red, but then this side is a little bit darker. I promise you that is not a brown right there. The bolsters are nickel silver, as well as the case oval script shield is nickel silver. And then you've got the brass pins and brass liners. Um, the case teardrop is only 3.625 inches closed, and it does uh, come in at $82.99 at smkw.com. Um, I think that there are eight patterns. Something like eight that. Eight or there's a ten. Bunch. There's a bunch. This teardrop feels small, but it's a good size little knife. Yeah, yeah. That's that's just a classic carry right there. It's, it's a nice. very classic, classy carry. What do you think of the PVD coating? <clears throat> just be honest. Right there, what do you think? You like it, you don't like it? I like it. I mean, <clears throat> just for the functionality of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, regardless of looks, um, and for me, a knife like that, I'm not I'm not getting it to 
look pretty. I'm, right. I'm getting it to use. So, I mean, the PVD coating is, is useful. I agree with that wholeheartedly on this particular knife. And I think, um, though I wish it was in our Stonewash CV that we do with Case, when right. I see this old red smooth bone, yeah. when I see it, I think vintage. And now that I see it up close and, and just right here in my hand, I think vintage. And I think that uh, uh, CV blade right. that we put the stone wash into, the ones that are, you could only get here, that would have been killer in this blade. But I like the darkness of this one. Yeah, I think it makes a huge difference in that vintage flavor to it. But it's kind of cool. It's a modern thing that made this slide knife look a little bit more vintage. Right. $89.99. I'm sorry. $82.99. Yes. I was trying to get that extra $7 tip for my pocket. <laughs> 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 go check, go check these out. A little Thanksgiving tip today. <laughs> Wouldn't get my some pocket. Christmas presents. <laughs> That's right. Daddy's got to get us some new toys. <laughs> <laughs> That's the case. Uh, old red bone. Old red bone. Old red bone. <laughs> hey, welcome to case. Old red bone. Teardrop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that that old red bone is a thing though that a lot of people collect. Uh, do what? Old red bone. Uh -huh. Yeah. And green bone mm -hmm. are both things that people collect. And I keep looking at the it, it's brown. I didn't realize <laughs> that we had a jigged pattern in the old red bone yeah. until I started looking this knife up. Yeah. Uh, and so this is a smooth bone ver smooth version of that old red bone. I just feel like I'm at the beginning of the Blazing Fury. Welcome to old red bone. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your seats, folks. It's going to get a little hot in here. <laughs> that is such a classic ride. It is. I love it. <laughs> Dollywood. Yes. That's all I'm going to say after yeah. that. Okay, guys. Got a fixed blade. You guys begged me to put fixed blades on the show. I try to get them on as much as possible. TC looked at this knife before, before the show, and he was that sweet. That is just gorgeous. If you don't know White River, they make some really great knives. They are an American uh, company. They are American-made knives, all knives made in the USA. This is a White River small game, and it is in the natural burlap micarta just a very pretty knife comes with a great uh, old school scandy style sheath deep carry so you're going to be able to carry that on your hip and not miss it i think this is a perfect knife um, for camp have so tight in there it's not going to go anywhere at all um, i like it let's look at it and i'll tell you we'll talk about it on the other side so let's get this out of the way this is a usa made knife it is the small game uh, natural burlap micarta from white river it is 149.95 at smkw.com you're talking about a 2.75 inch cpm s35 vn drop point blade so some excellent steel right there it does have the stone wash finish so you're not going to get high reflectivity out there in the wild while you're using it i used reflectivity in a sentence <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. I went to the reflectivity pageant at the church last week. Wow. <laughs> it is 0.125 <laughs> inches thick, which means that's an eighth of an inch thick. It does have the natural burlap micarta handles. Uh, these are screws in the handle. It looks like T8s, maybe T10s in there. Uh, and so you're going to be able to take that off and clean this knife up perfectly. Lanyard hole right here in the end. It is full tank construction, boys and girls. Full tank right there, 2.82 ounces. Overall comes in at 7.25 inches overall. And I'll show you the sheath up close again. Here is the sheath that comes from White River right there. Just a really nice, genuine leather sheath that looks nice and worn in at this point. Again, $149.95 at smkw.com. It's the small game knife from White River. White River makes some really nice stuff. I love that thing. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. It fits in the hand great. <clears throat> um, it, nice you were showing it oil. just now. And one thing I want to mention is that palm swell that's on the grip there mm -hmm. fits so the ergonomically. That thing feels so good. Yeah. And it's, it's very exaggerated, or at least it looks like it is on camera, but it fits perfectly in hand yeah you get your index finger lined up with that choil yeah with that finger choil and then that palm swell sits right in the palm of yeah. your hand so if you're gripping this and doing push cuts yeah it's going to feel really good Let, is this white river sharp i don't know uh, i will oh. use the tc provided paper i'm sorry the isaac provided paper <laughs> we, need, we need a drum roll <laughs> <laughs> oh there you go wow that was nice with the slow cut uh, there. no you lose <laughs> I couldn't yes. see it for the big dead cat that is in my face. Who's <laughs> the piper, y'all? I can't see it. That's that's gorgeous. That's probably one of the better ones. 
So, and I mean, it's it's no secret that the S thirty five VN is one of my favorite blade steels. Anyways, I think it's just, oh yeah, it's it's one of the best all around as far as I'm concerned. As far as availability, affordability, and get sharp, get sharp, stay sharp. Yeah, yeah, durability. It's just it's phenomenal. harder to sharpen, no doubt, but get sharp, stay sharp. Yeah. So the tang, is it? Does it extend past the handle scales, or is it kind of flush and recessed? Don't you love it when she gives me leading questions so I can show something? <laughs> it does. Uh, so the tang comes out past the scales. The blade does not start right here. In fact, if we go two again, I'll kind of show it on camera. That's a good transition right there, Bob. My goodness. I'm getting slick. So, he's getting slick. That's how you jinx yourself, just telling you. <laughs> See how the tang comes out, and I can do it here just a little bit. It's a little further than the blade. You have a, this would be the ricasso area of the. Well, yes. I'm in the handle handle. Oh, in the back end? Yeah, in the middle there. In the yeah. Do I and need to come the, up there? And on the bottom. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It does extend barely, but it doesn't extend out. It, uh, it's not much. It's and not it not is, and it has been buffed and sanded, so it is smooth. Okay. It is not a fire strike. And this is not sharp either. Melted, if you will. Okay. It is melted. Melted <laughs> butter. <laughs> melted edges. <laughs> so so it's comfortable in your hand? It is comfortable in my hand. Okay. We're going to stay on this belly shot right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, you, exactly. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> White River, small game, natural burlap micarta, $149.95 uh, at smkw.com. Uh, fun other knife right here. Coming up next, Elisha. Isham. I say Elisha every time. It's Elijah Isham. Design. Elisha. Boo! <laughs> hey, I, I'm not going to lie. I did the same thing. You same, saw me walk over same. there. Sometimes you have some performance issues right at the beginning, but you get warmed up. It works just you fine. See Alice for you. See <laughs> Alice. Anytime you're ready. <laughs> this is the Civivi Anthropos. Uh, we have this in several different colors. I've got the blue version in my hand. It's blue and carbon fiber. This is an Elijah Isham design. I will say this straight away about this particular knife. I think uh, as far as Isham designs go, this is the tame Isham design. Some of his stuff is like... I love his design. I love his design work, too, yeah. but it looks like a Transformer should carry yeah. it. Well, that's yeah. just that one. He has other ones that are just all curvy and gorgeous. Uh, yeah, they're nice. They're all nice. This is the Anthropos. This is a good size uh, EDC. The one thing that I'll say about this is it has a very unique flipper, and I'll show it to you when you get down there low a little bit, but most flippers come out this way, and they hit you in the pocket, and they do all that. Right. This flipper comes up and goes vertical, um, and that's why I had that trouble flipping at the beginning because I was not used to it. But once you know where that is supposed to be, this thing flips right almost yeah. every single time. Let's look at it, and I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about this knife right here. This here is the Savivi Anthropos. <laughs> <laughs> that sibilant S was going to be great on Anthropos. Okay. Anthropos. <laughs> Again, it's an Elijah Isham design. <laughs> I wrote de zing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an Elijah Isham de zing. <laughs> it is 3.25 inch D2 tool, tool steel drop point blade with a satin finish, a very pretty satin finish on this. It is 0.125 inches thick, so a full eighth on this thing. Uh, it is blue G10 handles with a carbon fiber over overlay. And you can see that best from the side right there. See all that blue? Really, really, really pretty right there. Does have the thumb hole. It does have a manual flipper. It is a uh, ball bearing pivot in this knife, and it does have the ambidextrous tip up pocket clip. Guys, if I drift off that far, just scream at me to move over. <laughs> I <laughs> move over, Jim. <laughs> I can't see. You guys can see this knife just fine. He's gonna let you run over that iceberg. <laughs> Let's show the front again. There it is. It's a liner lock. It has the ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip. When you close this thing down, it closes to 4.15 inches closed. It is 7.4 inches overall. Again, the action is nice and sweet once you find that right spot on that little upward flipper. 7.4 inches overall and weighs in at 3.28 ounces. The Anthropos is only $74.80 at smkw.com. Blue, orange, and black available on the site. <coughs> I'll work up a lung there for half a second. Yes, ma'am. So, 
I like this knife, and I want to tell you why I like this knife. Close it back down. Jace. Just like a lot of Isham's designs, that one's a, that one's a fat penguin, but it's still a penguin. <laughs> it does kind of look like a penguin. It's a chubby penguin. It does look a little bit like now, a penguin. Now, open it back up and look at the lines of the blue and mm -hmm. how they flow into yeah. the, the, the cutout on the blade. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you see it now? I see it now. At both bottom and top. So it makes just a beautiful curve nice. that goes into the into the swedging as well. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful curve in the penguin. Great curve. Uh, sexy curves. This. We need David Attenborough to talk about this knife. <laughs> the Civivi Anthropos finds itself on the high plains of the Arctic. <laughs> 7480, I like this knife. I have not cut with this. It has a, a, a full a, flat grind. A full flat grind. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes. It does go. Oh, that's nice. Achoo. What? 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 <laughs> it always I love seems it. to cut better with the sound effect. <laughs> of course it does. I love that. I, I love everything that we and Savivi are doing. I, I do mean, too. They're, they're fantastic. Um, huh? We, <laughs> Savivi, we knives, the company. The company. Civivi is part of we. We, we. I just gonna let him keep hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> he can be we all by himself. Yeah, I don't have to explain myself. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, he's gonna be called they and them, and it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is the I am identifying as we right now, that okay? That's right. The royal we. All of my personalities. <laughs> We like this. <laughs> Anthropos, 7480 at smkw.com. You'd think we ate the turkey before the show. <laughs> we, we did not. Uh, very last knife I have up is another design by our friend of the show who we got to talk to at Blade Show a couple years ago and talk to you all the time online. Dylan Mallory uh, made a slip joint. This is the Artisan Biome. This is a no-nonsense slip joint knife uh, from Artisan. And the kicker here, $21.99 on this thing. Uh, same good steel. It's just a slip joint. Again, let me show it to you, and I'll talk to it, talk about it on the other side. I won't talk to it on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> Be a little bit different. <laughs> Hello, Biome. How are you? Dylan Mallory Design, 2.8 inch, 12C, 27 in drop point blade with the stone wash finish. Uh, again, it is a slicey, slicey slip joint, 0.1 inches thick, perfect for your daily task. It is a slip joint. You can see the joint right there. It does have the half stop, bonk, right there. Nice walk and talk. Open it back up all the way. Uh, 3.79 inches closed, 6.61 inches overall. Guys, got to tell me with these notes, I keep drifting over here like a shark. Right there, 6.61 <laughs> inches overall, weighs in at just 1.41 ounces. Uh, got the nail nick for opening. Again, it is just a nice, slim knife. What you'll notice is this knife does not have a pocket clip at all because it is a slip joint design. I kind of dig it. What do you guys think about this one? I like it. It's, uh, it's very classic. Yeah. It's very classy. Um, I like the steel. It's, I mean, on par with 440A. It's, it, it's Sandvik, right? Uh, it's, it's 12C 27N. That's that's made by Sandvik, I'm pretty yes. sure. Swedish steel, yeah. right on the yeah. blade. <clears throat> Swedish Sandvik. Das is yeah. my knife. Das is my knife. Yeah, that's just good stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in case you were wondering folks how we make confetti um we do it one slice at a time <laughs> <That's right>. Andy, <laughs> when andy's not doing the show he's just uh, cutting up confetti all the time that's, that's right that's my main duty here i am He's director like, of confetti. <laughs> He's like a gremlin just sitting over there. Ding, 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 I'm making confetti. Hey, <laughs> you have to admit, I've gotten way better at paper cutting over the of course of two years of doing videos here. At the beginning, it was it was tough sailing. I'm still seeing some kind of little critter right and here. 
do it like my knife. <laughs> <laughs> we have like three different biome. colors of this too. The biome is in translucent. It's in this blue, and I think there's in black as well. Probably a black, black or green, one or the other. Uh, but the translucent's really darn cool. Twenty one ninety nine at smkw.com. Uh, way to go, Dylan. Good job on designing this thing. I, I like it a lot. Absolutely. What else? Anybody got any else thing they want to say before we go eat some more turkey? No. I want some mashed taters. Can we uh, reheat our turkey with the flamethrower? Yes. <laughs> yes. I think that sounds like a great idea. If you idea. guys didn't check out that video that dropped yesterday, make sure you go do it. Uh, check out the one. Uh, they're just setting things on it fire. It was so much fun. Setting and things on fire. Now I think we need to go flame broil a turkey. <laughs> Are you making another turkey sandwich? I no. think it's done. <laughs> Guys, we hope you enjoy the show. Like always, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Come visit us during Christmas. We're right off of Interstate um, I-40, exit 407. Come up to the red light just across the bridge, about three miles from the exit. You can find us with the big blue roof. Come join us. Enjoy all the fun stuff that goes on in the store. The website, open and running 24-7, shipping out knives like crazy. Some great specials still going on with our Black Friday sale happening right now. You're going to get some freebies. $39 free shipping on any order of $39 or more free shipping. If you have not already checked out our promotions page, you can get to it from our homepage. There are tons of great deals going on, too. Uh, stuff from Buck. Just go look at it. I promise you there are lots of MAP holiday sales that are happening right now that you can take advantage of for Christmas. And if you haven't looked at this this guy's mug on the holiday gift-giving guide, <laughs> go to that page yes. and check out all of those and, and find that perfect gift for somebody in your life. Uh, on that note, we're going to get out of here. Uh, TC has been running the board in the Purple Studio today. <laughs> Purple Ray, Purple Ray. <laughs> I've got to go tend to some doves crying here in just a second. <laughs> Melina has been on Torture Cam uh, helping us with technical facts that we are too dumb to know. And my name is Andy. You've watched a whole other episode of Guys Talk Knives, episode 159, in fact. We'll see you on Tuesday for the live version. Have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs>